and uh, I grew up in an environment without interest and of passion uh, for music. When I was a child, I used to stop playing with other children to listen to the music. Uh, I felt uh, as hypnotized while any kind of music was in the air. My first real experience uh, with a musical instrument happened when I was 15. I learned my basic technique playing the saxophone uh, soprano in the wind band of my... It happened when I finished my regular studies in conservatory. I was studying with my teacher, Maestro Garbarino. At that time, he was leader of an amazing group called Ensemble Garbarino, specialized in contemporary music. We were talking about bass clarinet during a lesson, and uh, he asked me, Rocco, do you like it? I replied, yes, maestro. He told me, I always have problem on finding a good bass clarinet player. I'm looking for it. So, please, study it seriously, and uh, I do it. It's not easy to reply shortly to this question. The thing that made me most proud about my career uh, is the fact of being esteemed by the great composer such as uh, Luciano Berio, Ennio Morricone, uh, Arturo Marquez, Arthur Gottschalk and many others. These composers understood my musical philosophy and um, I discovered their viewpoints weren't far from mine. I'll be more than happy to tell you more about that next time. I was inspired by my teacher Giuseppe Garbarino. His point of view about music is close to mine. He really appreciated me when I played it repertory pieces in different moods. Uh, he, wo he has a different approach to the music that goes beyond the common one. His uh, uh, deep knowledge of the piece itself was always supported by a survey of the historical period in which it was written on political issues and uh, on composer life whenever possible. Uh, we usually live on a hurry, but I think that uh, spending time on warming up is very important. Warm up is useful to prepare embouchure, read and lips. But, but more important thing, in my opinion, is that warming up prepares me to find the feeling with my instrument. How can we do that? Playing long sound first is the way. Long sounds are great exercise to check our breathing, and we all know that good breathing means good playing. I also suggest to play exercises for tuning. Find an easy tune and uh, to play and work on it on all tonalities. Practice with different techniques like arpeggios and the scales. I always play B, B flat clarinet in my concert with piano but I practice clarinet when I have time for it. Next month, for example, I will have to play Histoire du Soldat by Igor Stravinsky, and I will use A and B clarinet. 
if a COVID restriction will allow us to do it. Well, Giochino Rossini didn't distinguish between uh, musical genres, but between interesting music or not. This is my thought too. I love music. I had and I'm still having a lot of different experiences. From electronic music, I recorded a CD with the, the great Italian poet Edoardo Sanguinetti, to jazz, playing with pianist Riccardo Zegna and the clarinetist Gabriele Mirabassi. I went from classic to pop. Two things are important for me. To know exactly what I'm doing and play without instrumental limits. Luciano Berio said that the virtuosity is the conflict between the musical idea and its realization. I grew up with my bass clarinet with this mindset and I'm still going this way. We're living an awful situation and we all wish that it's going to end as soon as possible. Arts like music and theater need an audience and we can't play without it. Streaming concerts are better than no concert at all, but they are not as real ones. We need the, the warmth of the audience. Playing for, for cameras is unusual because cameras are cold. The most important part with the audience is the relationship you can set with it. And this is an impossible relationship to establish on streaming. Online lessons work well only for specific level musicians but they could give problems with sound or sonorities for students of different levels. Clarinet and bass clarinet are similar, but they are not the same. Uh, I suggest to play both instruments in the same way, using a mouthpiece with similar opening and the same lip pressure and breathing to simplify the, cro the crossing from an instrument to the other one. During my master classes uh, uh, around the world, I met a lot of students who played B clarinet and bass clarinet with different techniques. They were good with B flat clarinet and uh, with low register of the bass clarinet but they weren't good with the medium register of the bass clarinet as with the low one. We all know that playing is easier if we have a good breathing. How is it possible? There are a lot of exercises in many uh, books, but not all of them are useful. I believe there's some confusion about that. I have been lucky because uh, uh, my teacher Giuseppe Garbarino studied for a long time and explained me everything. Keep in mind that time and practice are fundamental to achieve it. Circular breathing is an important but not strictly necessary technique for a performer. Uh, I studied times ago when uh, I had to play the contemporary piece with uh, very long sounds. The composer suggested me uh, to use circular breathing, but I decided to use regular breathing 
with great wonder by himself and the audience too. <laughs>